hello everyone to another video of goker uh, this video won't be about uh, go go uh, um, knowledge or go josekis uh, it will be about go software so um, eh, i think so everyone a few must have heard about mini go software which is made by um, the team in google so they, they, they are just making it as a uh, it's not a sponsored uh, kind of thing or heavily funded project it's just a, a project made on the um, uh, on uh, like the downtime that this um, um, coders have uh, so one of them is a really good go player andrew jackson i know him so uh, i had made a video about seven eight months back on mini go and its potential i think so in this channel um i think so you have to check it out but yeah this um uh, this um uh, mini go uh, the soft uh, the code was written uh, like a year back uh, but then uh, they did a uh, like I used to follow their github uh, updates and the pull request and the review of the pull request that they did over the year and um, uh, they have done a lot of um, uh, they have made a lot of models and um, uh, I'll be today uh, trying to show you all how um, how the performances are and how basically any machine learning uh, pro uh, project if you have how do you manage so many models that uh, if you if you have uh, so here, here is their online por uh, portal where they uh, uh, post all the results. So um, here is the main page, I think so. I think so. The main main page looks like this. Uh, it contains all the models. So here is a model name one zero zero three, and uh, if you click any model, then it takes about all the games it has played and um, some kind of um, statistics, win loss um, margin by win, like how much. Um, by how many stones it won and so on uh, was it played on a 9x9 nine nine or a um, 19 by 19 board and then 100 nine, uh, random games so from this model 1003 if I pick up one of the uh, game so let's just uh, see uh, one game being played out by this model uh, I think so it's a self play game so this model just copied itself and played against itself so like one one uh, network predicting the moves for white one network predicting the moves for black so let's skip ahead to position and at the right it's giving comments so the comments are basically action it's taking and some parameters this i think so hyper parameters of the model q u p p dare uh, n uh, soft n or p delta p relation so this is some kind of statistical for quantities or I think so reinforcement terminology uh, I really don't know them I have to like ask them out about what is happening but yeah at, at the bottom it's uh, given the win rate and this is quite easy to uh, uh, like see the win rate uh, going in the favor of um, uh, I think so it's going in the favor of white I guess a uh, black black I guess since black is the first person to play so yeah uh, this is the end position and black has won so uh, yeah so you can even download the SGF uh, game only. So that means uh, it it uh, this this page takes you where you just want to and uh, you are a Go player. You don't want to see all these hyper parameters. You just want to see the game. So then you can see this game on this um, uh, like to you can toggle here and see the game. So yeah, that's how you can see every model. And here I think so they have listed 75 good models that they have trained. And uh, and in each model uh, I think so it's it's not fully uh, unsupervised they must have trained on some human games so um uh, yeah he, they are playing telling like 26000 so this this model is europa uh, 26000 self play games uh, then uh, evaluation games played and then some like they, they are trying to make some kind of cross table so yeah I, I let's see how they are evaluating so each and every game um, as black and white uh, how much the strength of the uh, model is increasing in terms of go ghost uh, winning uh, like finding good moves in go so there is the strength in the model itself by hyper parameter tuning and um, like having really good optimizers but then uh, there is also uh, if it's getting a become a good go go, go s uh, solving robot go go playing robot so yeah let's get back to this model page um so like there are i think so 75 models out of the 700 ish models that they train or even thousand 
so i think so one out of 10 models made to this list and i think so this is this page is version 70 um yeah like last time i visited this page it was like um it was quite um uh, like the it was quite unintuitive as to what uh, how exactly they were doing the testing but now it's well put out so it's quite easy to see so let's see uh some graphs so win rate by each model so um like this is model number that they've given at the bottom and then the win rate of each model so it's like relatively quite equal there's just minor differences and it's telling about how all these graphs sum of wizards to top move per game by model how badly soft ten messed up each game soft ten is one hyper parameter i guess number of games processed by model mm. number of self play games cloud go has ingested yeah this is all the work that they have been doing since one last one year i i really have been s following yeah <sighs> let's go back and see uh, other than the graphs um how the model has evolved mm. so yeah uh, they have taken the example of a uh, model uh, 1003 so i like just a uh, side note just see how well they have uh, documented uh, their model list like I like even i'm doing my thesis on mach machine learning and deep learning and i'm, I'm doing it on reverse sensing data but uh, I haven't got up to that level where I can document every model and I can compare each and every model such perfectly as they are doing uh, at um, uh, like uh, uh, this group of people are doing so yeah so uh, just see uh, like how um, how well the model is getting trained so like uh, this is telling about this model and it predicting higher and higher level of tactics so like kobayashi micro chinese uh, ladder one ladder two and so on so this is just telling how um, this model uh, like at the start it's playing random then it's going to uh, f finding some uh, good tactics better higher and then it's finding like the epic tactics like the shoulder hit and so on uh, so yeah th there's that then figure three let's just see what's that and evaluation figure 3 is uh, uh, again about graphs um, and they have done uh, all these things in google colac and all that hmm nice okay and this is evaluation so win rate versus older and rating so wait rating of all the best models i think so they have made uh, played all the 75 models with each other so uh, yeah and here also everywhere you can toggle out the bad models and see uh, the ELO rating relatively and filter out the old models and see so that like there is a vast amount of data you can get out of it so yeah one thing that you can take away is whenever you write a code that does um, uh, builds models um, on based on uh, some label data or um, just fully unsupervised like by a reinforcement agent you always have to like uh, and if the if your concept is based on self play like in the game of go then always you have to document all every model playing against each other and how how proper it is so yeah it is showing every model out there and the games which has it has played mostly against each other and uh, uh, like what was the outcome and so on so uh, can i see the game i think so i'll click at 34 yeah and i go go to that game and here is the game with a complete analysis i think so this game is the stub but yeah whatever now let us go to model details and model graphics and newest evaluation so details uh, it tells okay I, we have already seen this it talks about all this uh, things and all the game list of the models that's quite good and model graphs uh, so each model you can see um, the number of moves it has played in the game and the number of games ending with uh, ending at which move so yeah this is a quite nice metric it can only exist in go game so that's quite nice and now this is evaluation statistics uh, according to each model so toggle sort okay so you can sort out all this model and see the i think so the win percentage here at the right and uh, the ranking of them so this is the kind of cross table you get out of all these 75 models results puzzles and so on so let's see 
puzzle. So yeah, this is a puzzle. I think so. The model is sold. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, uh, I I really don't know what this model uh, this puzzle is. But I think so. It's um. It's just a fun thing. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, they they are just uh. They are not even telling. It's black to move, white to move. It's quite a tough to find out. But how do I enter a move? Let let me see. B five. It it gets entered. Mm, believe. Mm. Okay, I think so. I have to f uh, find a way to figure this out. But it looks like a fun thing, fun interactive thing that they have made. Result summary: Which models were there? Which uh, which GPU it was trained on? Uh, which kind of network it was? Squeeze and excitation network, and um, which kind of filters size that you have used? They have they used cloud TPUs like. Uh, uh like because of them i really understood kubernetes and containers and how to use machine learning on kubernetes server so they like like and this is a cloud big table so like there is a lot of things that they have this and they have also done a visualization on tensor board which is quite nice okay cloud tpus they have used cloud uh, computing which is a facil uh, like a facility of google that they're giving cloud big tables and so on so yeah uh, basically um, there's a lot of things that's going on now let's see about on the models and Leela software uh, and cross play against Leela and how uh, this all these models have fared first let me go to the results and oh yeah we have covered this result summary yeah so this is about um, this is again the list of games and the model and how it has played against each other and like outcomes so yeah it's everything is so well documented like 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 it's that i think so there's a discord channel also you can go there there are around i think so 800 members there which is quite cool and uh, yeah so like like um y you see the quality of graphs when you have a model list how many metrics you can find out so like like that's the takeaway and mini go is something which has been more uh, i think so more descriptive than alpha go in uh, doc in publishing the results so in that way um, um, like leela is a open sol uh, open agent and many uh, people from the go community has been benefited with leela and lizzy uh, leela played on lizzy leela zero and so on because leela is al almost very strong and uh, it uh, like AlphaGo is an open source, but uh, there are many softwares which are doing uh, the job of AlphaGo and in a good way. So this is the uh, update on uh, the Minico software, and I hope um, you enjoyed this content. I'll be making more uh, tutorials on Go, and um, my main aim is to play blind Go. Uh, and as uh, you know, in I I am belong to a country called India, and there aren't. Uh, uh, that many go players like there was a go meeting in bangalore uh, last week but other than that um, there aren't that much um, that much uh, go s go things happening here so uh, let me just go through the code that they are doing uh, so this is this is a code on how they are making policy and uh, so on and there's a heat map of the go board 19 by 19 go board this is again good thing and uh, how they are making policy gradient, policy optimization, and uh, ROC curves, and so on and so forth. How how they are predicting out all these things and uh, so on. Oh my God! So like they are doing um, uh, visualizations via TensorFlow, via heat maps, or using Go boards and heat maps, and then this cross table and getting a lot of a um, uh, lot of uh, statistics out of this cross table and so on and l so on. Yeah. Yeah, they have analyzed some games also using some mod model, and I I think so. This is the puzzle section at move 175. What what move the uh, via the policy network and value network? What what do they think will who is going winning at that point? So let me just click there. Ah, I see. So uh, yeah, it's interesting stuff. I'll make a follow up video in six months. Uh, I think so they are just finishing up with uh, uh, these things. There are still a lot of playouts left to be done and they will be doing it on their cloud TPUs. But uh, yeah, this is the update on um, uh, Minigo software and thanks for watching.